Where is Rings of Power Season 2? There is nothing. There is not a single promo, teaser, information, a random photo on social media doesn't count. And it's quite interesting to watch. A show that was one of the biggest premieres in streaming history, yet failed to maintain an audience and under normal circumstances, without the contract, it would have been cancelled already. Rings of Power is the epitome of a sympathy. It is person you feel sorry for. It is badly written, it is absolute detritus, it is poorly acted. Its pacing is so bad, it's unbelievable. And it looks like it's been made by Blue Peter for a bring and buy sale. If you're American, you may not get that. But, you know, everything can be done with sticky back plastic. So, for the uncensored version of this video, head over to my Patreon. For this version, stay here. Hi. Amazon seem to have no faith in their product. The air quotes biggest show in history that has, like I said, failed to maintain an audience. That has also bred a fan base of rabid, inhuman animals. That beg on the internet. I mean, let's be real about it. Most of the fans of the show just want to get off to it. A fan base that everything. That everything is viewed through a lens of sex. And that is a problem. Also a fan base that have openly lied, airbrushed quotes from Tolkien and put things together, cried when the Second Age book The Fall of Numenor was released because, you know, it had been rewritten. No, I've read all of that before. It's all firmly available and cry that the Salmarillion is not canon. Like I said, unintelligent animals that just want to get off to it. The great unwashed of society. <laughs> They're the internet equivalent of the Chav estate. My thinking with this show is that Amazon have absolutely no faith, faith in it. They have absolutely nothing. There is no merchandising. There's not even an official poster. If you want it on DVD and Blu-ray, you can buy it on Wish and Timu and eBay. And they're pirated from China. I think it's on Blu-ray. I know it's on DVD. There is no merchandising. There's no Funko Pops. There's no action figures. They're having to pay... New Line and Warner money to use certain characters. Then, hideous and very obvious reshoots, massive changes, leaks, and rumours of two specific cast members not particularly getting along. It makes it quite an interesting thing. Those rumours are unsubstantiated, by the way, but there has been talk of onset drama between two actors. <clears throat> not to mention the actor's behaviour on the internet is absolutely shameful. These people need PR people. What happened to actors with PR people? Amazon seem to have no faith in this. They're already cutting the budget. They're already making excuses. A billion dollar TV show that they are cutting the budget. The show hasn't bred a water cooler conversation. And instead, 99% of what I see on the internet about the show is negative. Once Amazon's paychecks ran out, the positive reviews seemed to cease, and people were giving their honest opinion, which was still couched. Fellowship of Fans is a prime example of that. A rumoured, and I stress that, linked to Amazon, which is kind of disheartening. A fan base that also uh, is interesting. A show that just hasn't got anyone interested. The show is boring, flat, and lifeless. The only real plot happens in the first ep barely the first two episodes, and kind of happens in the end one. A compressed timeline, and the fact that Amazon wanted to represent modernity. This show is honestly made for unintelligent animals that want to be patted on their head and told how good they are for tweeting and being activists. It feels like Amazon are just dumping this show out. It, this show has to exist. It is contractually obligated to exist. There is no way around that. It, it, it's a contract. It doesn't exist because of a loyal fan base. It exists because it's a contract. They have to make five seasons or pay out of it. The thing is, no one, barely anyone watched the first season at the end. And I don't think it's going to get its viewership back. Recent drama with Fellowship of Fans being fed false information, air quotes, which I found quite interesting because studios do leak false information 
And maybe if the rumours are true, it wasn't false information, but they're doing heavy reshoots and re-edits as we speak. This show is in trouble. And it has not captured the heart of millions of people. Instead, it's captured a rabid, horny, vacuous fan base with nothing else between their ears. And like I said, scholars that are more interested in identity politics than actually, and I use the word scholars with loosely, if someone calls themselves a scholar, they're not a fan. And that's about 95% of the case. People that have prowled the internet, such as <coughs> and the vile <coughs> a fan base of rabid, unintelligent animals that have openly tried to dox people. <coughs> is prime example of that. What I find concerning about the whole thing is that Amazon have cancelled shows to make this. Peak pinnacle shows for Amazon got cancelled with high viewership to keep this show going. Instead, Amazon have started... Instead, Amazon have alienated their audience. A lot of people I, I know that watched the show and I said, it's pretty, but nothing happens. Yet, the fan base cry about all the changes Peter Jackson made, but won't dare criticise Rings of Power for the same changes. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What about the wiki? The Lord of the Rings fandom wiki has been infiltrated and criticism of Rings of Power is not allowed. The subreddit has banned memes and many other places. This show is not good. It is not a good show. It is not... Uh, it's not a show that does anything. It does nothing new. It looks cheap. And with season two around the corner, I think the mediocrity is going to continue. I have no hopes. One of the suggested leaks is that season two is going to be end up being Twilight with Elves. The fact that the crew behind the show cannot figure out what this show is meant to be and how it's meant to be. This show is an experiment that has failed. A vanity project by Jeff Bezos. And ultimately... A very sad legacy for Tolkien. While I do disagree with some of the changes within the Peter Jackson movies, they represent the books. Instead, you have something here that represents nothing. It represents the ego of narcissists and billionaires. It represents people on the internet which are a bunch of feral animals. It represents the Great Unwashed. A show designed for the lowest common denominator that was confused and endless. A show designed to pat you on the heads and tell you it's pretty. At the end of the day, this show is unsustainable, and it's clearly showing. The budget cuts within Amazon are very telling. This show has not hit the audience that it wants, and it's not going to, and it never will. Maybe in a few decades to come we can look back and laugh at it. But really, Amazon wanted to do their own story. That was it. They didn't want to create Tolkien's World. They didn't want to create anything like that. They wanted to tell their own story and use Lord of the Rings and Tolkien as a marketing ploy. It's good special effects and budget costumes, which I've seen better in period dramas on the BBC in the 80s, really don't make people feel good. What they forget is the show has no heart. It's a shameless cash grab. It's nothing more, it's nothing left. And the scholars, air quotes, that defended on the internet, because, you know, it's tolkien -y. Again, have a shower. Go away. The second Christopher Tolkien died, Amazon set into motion things, because they suddenly realised they could control the IP. They got rid of Tom Shippey, and other people, rumoured, by the way, involved. Season 1 was rumoured to be heavily reshot and rewritten, which is why the inconsistent continuity and special effects show. An unfinished mess representative of nothing more than failure. Where is the merchandising? Where are the Funko Pops? Where are the posters? Where's the jewellery? Where's the action figures? Where's the collectibles that Amazon would charge way too much for? Technically, and this is also a thing, they had to pay New Line slash Warner the rights to use certain characters, so they've had to pay for those. Galadriel is one of them. So any characters that appear within the Peter Jackson films and appear in this have to be paid for. Simple. I find that quite interesting. Paying the superior product to create something mediocre. Mediocre fan fiction. It's fascinating.
As someone that watched the whole series all the way through, and no, I didn't watch on Amazon. There are plenty of other ways to watch things. I didn't give them my views. IMDb and Amazon have been censoring reviews of these works. Ring, the Fellowship of Fans started a fandom war because, you know, anyone that dares criticise it is an ist or a phobe. Hmm. Funny how that works, considering the anti-Semitism within the Rings of Power fan base is not just off the charts, it is rapid. I'm seeing anti-Semitic conspiracy theories come out of these people that I've only ever seen from books written in 1930s Germany. It's sad. Rings of Power's fan base are blatantly the issue outside of this. They will defend the show from these anonymous accounts. They'll defend it, but they won't do it from their real accounts. That I find funny. They're so desperate to defend their show, put their goddamn name on it. I've been on the receiving end of stuff from these people, and all I'm going to say is, would you say it to my face? I dare you. This show is categorically a failure in every representative way. Storytelling, characterization, writing, pacing, plot, editing, costumes. The special effects are so hit and miss, I wonder how many teams have been doing them, because they are inconsistent as hell. A cheap-looking fan-fiction costume drama. I've seen better fan films of Lord of the Rings. Far better. That are well-written, that look equally as good. But it's funny how all that money Amazon can pay for decent armour and weaponry that doesn't bend. And have to CGI a sword into Galadriel's hand that disappears between takes. Just saying. I find it funny. That this show has bred a war which is only representative of a handful of people. The Tolkien Society fell a long time ago, and I was a member of that until, a few, until the copyright debacle. I mean, some of those lectures they give are absolutely trash. Let's be honest. Gender identity in Middle Earth. Race in Middle Earth. Why not actually just talk about the books? The source material. Amazon could have been smart and use the material they had the rights to, to focus on other parts of Middle-earth. You have a rich world and a rich tapestry. If they wanted diverse fantasy, they could have done it. Just pick the right area of that world. Just saying. But then, and I say this with, with as much venom as possible, they didn't. They were lazy. They created a lazy show that tries to be deep. If you want the honest truth, watching Rings of Power made me want to crucify Hellbrand's cum dump with as many nails as possible. The fact that the fan base have to sexualize everything, the fact that this show has failed in ways which are undescribable, and Amazon have had to cancel shows and cut the budget to keep this thing going, when actually it would probably be cheaper for them to pay out. Amazon can do some amazing things. Fallout was fantastic despite some issues but that was more pacing than anything else, and some of the characterization felt a little inconsistent. I'll be talking about that more soon. Ultimately, Rings of Power is a failure and Amazon don't care. They're just gonna poop this stuff out and keep it coming and keep it coming until the contract ends. A loveless, profitless, vile show created for the lowest common denominator of society on a network or streaming service has actually created some fantastic stuff. Out of range, anyone? I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful day, and goodbye.